Very excited to be up here in Tennessee on a beautiful day. We're going to fly the TBM 850 from Greensville, Tennessee, ran right over to Knoxville, Tennessee. Let's get this started. All right, welcome aboard the TBM 850 here at Greenville, Tennessee. We'll start this engine up, clear out the front, fill the boost pump coming on, and start is on and blinking. Ignition light is also illuminated. Those are always the first two things you want to look at. If those weren't doing what they were supposed to do, we'd abort the start cycle immediately. Watching the NG rise up, it's going to stabilize around 14%. We're going to introduce fuel to low idle. Now we're watching for our light off. Watching the ITT for a hot start. It's a nice cool day today, plus 14 degrees Celsius. And we're watching the NG for a hung start. ITT is going to temp out right at 740 today. Just continuing to watch our NG rise and our ITT has fallen back now that the engine has got rotation and there we go good start all right the first step we'll go over to the AWOS here and get the uh, weather and information here at Greenville Greenville Municipal Airport, automated weather observation, one, four, four, seven, Zulu. Wind, two, eight, zero, at one, zero, knots. Peak gusts, two, zero, knots. Visibility, more than one, zero. Sky condition, clear, below one, two, thousand. Temperature, one, three, Celsius. Dew point, minus one, Celsius. Altimeter, two, nine, or six, eight inches of mercury, There we go, we got the uh, information here in the weather. We'll be taking off runway two tree. We got the gusty winds out of the west today and 2968 in our uh, altimeters. Uh, the prop choice real quick. And do our tests here for the autopilot and trims. Real loud beep right there. And the test was good, successful. And we'll put our flaps down, first takeoff setting, first notch there. Look out the wings, you'll see them coming down. And we're going to check our flight controls, free and correct. Looking good. Greensville traffic, TBN taxiing off of the FBO to runway 2 tree. Greensville traffic. Well, there's no report traffic, come back and see us. Ah, thanks for your hospitality. It was nice uh, hanging out with you guys. Good to have you. Real nice uh, staff here at the FBO that you can see off the left wing. Hey, you can see the windsock out there. It's gusting. We're going to have a gusty right crosswind on this takeoff. Yeah, excited to have you guys on board the TBM 850 here. We're going to be just doing a uh, short hop over to Knoxville. It's projected to be around a 17 minute flight. We're going to go up to 12,000 feet. We'll pick up an IFR in the air. This is an uncontrolled airfield. Using the iPad Mini 6 with the pivot mount mounting case system here. 
you guys would like to get a system like this, be sure to go in the description below. With my discount code, you guys could get a cool setup like this for your airplane. Save 15% off your purchase. And like I say, saving money is always a good thing. Also, I'm excited to announce I've partnered with PilotInstitute.com. You guys are new to my channel. I do this. This is my job. I get paid to fly this airplane around. And Pilot Institute's got a lot of online courses that you can take. You can start today. Just go to the description below down there. I got Pilot Institute linked. I think this is a really fun, rewarding career. And you guys can start right today, right from home. Be sure to check it out and click down there below. So this runway is gonna it has a slope in it, a dip in it, halfway down. You look down here at the taxi diagram. There we are, linking away on the taxi diagram. This runway is 6,300 feet long by 100 feet wide, and halfway down it, it's got a dip in the elevation. So it's kind of a different optical illusion as you roll down this runway because you lose sight of the uh, very end of it as you go down into the dip. So we'll pick up our IFR with Tri City. Once we take off here, and here we're coming up on the end of runway 2 tree. Greensville traffic TBM, we're taking off runway 2 tree, departing to the southwest Greensville traffic. All right, you guys ready to go to Knoxville? I know I am. Clear down the runway. As you can see, you can't really see the very end of the runway because there's a big hill on the halfway down, and the final is clear. Line up here on center line. There we go. Now we're gonna ease the power, prop RPM up, and then we're gonna set takeoff power. And takeoff power is set. Well, temperature pressure is all look good in the green. Holding our center line with our rudder pedals. I got some crosswind correction in there for the wind coming off the right side of the runway. Looking for a rotation speed, and there it is. Pull back on the yoke. Yeah, it's a nice, cool day. Good performance. There, now you can see the end of the runway right now. That's that hill. Go gear selected up. Tap the brakes, and it's gonna be a little rowdy because of this wind today. So I hope you guys got your seatbelts nice and tight. Oh, beautiful view off the left wing. That's the Smoky Mountains right over there. Some of the highest peaks in the Smoky Mountains are right here. And gears up. And we're gonna go flaps up. Yaw damn run. Yeah, it's a little it's a little bumpy here. Beautiful view out there. Man, I love flying around eastern Tennessee and North Carolina. The mountains are so beautiful. We're gonna pull back and pitch for 140, and then we'll put the autopilot on. Gonna climb and IS mode and autopilot is on. Now we're in heading mode. We'll go direct, enter, enter. And now we're direct to Knoxville and go into nav mode. Man, it is bumpy. I knew it would be. Everything's looking good, so we'll go over to Tri City. We'll make one more announcement here. Greenville traffic, TBM, we're three miles southwest of the field, departing southwest bound. Have a good day. Greenville traffic. And we'll go over to Tri City. Have a good one. Thank you. And we'll go over to Tri Cities now. Tri City, good morning, Navarro. 851 Tango Bravo. Summer 851 Tango Bravo, Tri Cities approach. Walk 5222. It's clocking 5222, 851 Tango Bravo. Oh, they were ready for us. So we put 5222 in our transponder. Now they're looking for us on their scope. This is number 851 Tango Bravo, radar contact 4 miles southwest to Greenville, South Altitude. Position checks currently passing through 5,300 at number 851 Tango Bravo. Number 851 Tango Bravo, you cleared to the Knoxville Airport as filed. Come and maintain 10,000. Expect that as your final. Roger, cleared to Knoxville as filed, and we'll climb and maintain 10,000. That'll be our final. Thanks, 1 Tango Bravo. Alright, we filed for 12,000, but we'll just go to 10,000. This is not that long of a flight. So we got 10,000 in our altitude pre-selector, we'll arm it and climb in IS mode. And if you look down here at the iPad, there we are, we just took off. There's our glide advisor. And 
go direct right on over to Knoxville. Direct to, get a fresh line there. There we go. You can see the mountain range right down here to the south of us. So it looks like we're just approaching now this cloud layer. A few clouds here at uh, looks about 8,000 feet. And I'm going to tell you right now, it is bumpy. I got my left hand here on the handle here holding on because even though you got a seatbelt on, I like to get a little bit more secured into my seat. But look at the beautiful view off the left wing out there. It should smooth out here as soon as we get above this cloud layer right here. And we'll see if that happens. I think it will. And right there, it's already starting to smoothen on out. That's 1,000 to go. 9,000 climbing to 1,000. And right now we have a 47 knot headwind coming right against us. 48 knots. Might climb a little bit higher here. Flying right into a headwind today. November 1 Tango Bravo, contact Knoxville approach 118.0. Good, good morning. 18.0, enjoy your day. 1 Tango Bravo. Whiskey, Knoxville approach, Roger, information Charlie's current. All right, to get ahead of this flight, we're also going to go over to the airport tab, put in Knoxville. We've got our frequency set up for the ATIS. Got the ATIS set up in COM 2. Now we're going to check in with Knoxville on COM 1 here. Knoxville, good morning. November 851 Tango Bravo, 10,000. November 851 Tango Bravo, Knoxville approach. Expect the visual approach from a 2 3 right. Okay, Roger, we'll expect uh, visual for 2 3 right, 851 Tango Bravo. So we'll go over and get the ATIS here to stay ahead of this flight. We're going to monitor it and get that. We'll be monitoring two frequencies. Knoxville Information Delta, time 1453 Zulu, wind 250 at 13, gust 21, visibility 10, two clouds at 3500, temperature 16, 2.0, altimeter 2972. Arrivals expect the visual approach, landing runway 23 right, departing runway 23 left. Simultaneous approach in use. Notice air when taxiway alpha closed between Romeo 3 and Romeo 4. Runway 23 left, ILS out of service, runway 23 right, ILS out of service. Use caution for grass cutting, left and right of runway 23 right. Read back all Romeo, hold short instructions and assign altitudes. Advise initial contact, you have Delta. All right, we have information Delta. Getting that as early as possible, staying ahead of flight makes flying a whole lot easier. Go off the left here. I think we're coming up on Pigeon Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge Airport. They'll be coming up here on the left. We'll see. Indian one Tango Bravo, turn 10 degrees right, descend to maintain 5,000. 10 right, 5,000 over 851 Tango Bravo. All right, 10 right. How's the ride there at 10? Say again. How's the ride there at 10? Ah, nice and smooth. It's bumpy down below the clouds, but at 10, smooth. One Tango Bravo. Roger. He's asking how the ride was here at 10. So we did 10 right on the heading and 5,000 feet, set up an altitude pre-selector. Yeah, so we'll keep an eye out, see if we can see Gallenberg Pigeon Ford Airport. Look, look at our glide advisor right now with the different mountains and the hills and everything. It's, it's, uh, it adapts to as you fly that green ring. That's how far we could glide if we lost our engine. Yeah, if you look off the left side of the airplane now, you'll see Douglas Lake out there really nice. Looks like a lot of different houses around the lake. And I think that'd be a great spot to do some boating. All right, so we're descending back through 8,000. This is where we had the bumps back at the last airport and departure. Now, thankfully, we're passing through 6,700 feet. We have not had the extreme bumps that we had coming out of uh, Greenville. But as I say that, here it comes. So 6,000... Well, you see three, five, three, zero, Fox, not 400 four, is where we started getting the uh, turbulence again. I got the power pulled back. So there you go. The, Less violent these uh, bumps will be, the turbulence. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, descend to maintain 4,000, turn left heading 260. 260, descend to maintain 4,000, 851 Tango Bravo. And the, uh, the turbulence starts at 6,400 feet, is where you get back into the rough air. 1 Tango Bravo, Roger, and uh, present speed till advised. Present speed till advised, 1 Tango Bravo. There they go, 4,000, 260 heading, and present speed. You know what we're going to do? We're going to get the tower frequency set up next in COM 1, 21-2. Man, it's bumpy, 21 Dude, it's There we go. So we've got tower set up, so we're st still staying ahead of the flight. It's one less thing we'll have to do when they tell us to go to tower. Six thousand. I love flying, but zero, I'm going to be honest, when it's really bumpy like this, 
it's not as much fun because <laughs> it can be uncomfortable especially if you're a passenger in the back because it's like sitting in a school bus in the back of the plane so the bumps always feel worse back there than the front here how are you guys doing though feeling feeling good not getting sick over there on me are you yeah, Knoxville, 6 3 Whiskey has the. Start to see downtown Knoxville out there. 6 3 Whiskey, Roger, number 4. Roger that. Number 4 to the airport. So, yeah, we're all lined yeah, up. 5977, turn left direct, Beckley. Climb and maintain 1 2 12,000. Left direct, I'm going to start looking for our airport. 1 2 12,000. I've never been to this airport. It's my first time. Actually, I have it in sight out there at 11 o'clock, 11.30. That's a good thing to have that in sight already. Beautiful day to fly besides the, uh, the wind and the uh, turbulence. There is an autopilot disconnect. The turbulence made it kick off. This plane's had that issue for a long time. It's got a weak autopilot. No big deal. We're just hand flying now. Get back stabilized. 260 heading 4000 and re engage. And the autopilot is re engaged. Winds 250, 13, 21, gusting 21 here at Knoxville. And we're going to be using two tree right. So we're going to have a little bit of left uh, right crosswind again. And that's landing. TBM One Tango Bravo, Mickey Test at 11 o'clock, 1 8 miles. We got the field site, One Tango Bravo. TBM One Tango Bravo, Roger, clear for the visual approach from a 2 3 right. Uh, 1 8 0 knots or greater to a 5 mile final. 1 8 0 knots to a 5 mile final, clear, clear for the visual 2 3 right, 8 5 1 Tango Bravo. My goodness gracious, we're getting thrown all over the place here. Alright, we're clear for the visual. And you know what, we're going to disconnect the autopilot and hand fly the rest of the way in. We'll just put the odd damper back on. And we're going to take this iPad off the yoke too today. Just because it is super bumpy. We're holding our speed till a five mile final. Do that, we're all stacked up coming in here. I think like about four airplanes right now. I love flying around Tennessee though. Look at the beautiful view off that left wing still of the mountains. Yeah, when it's really turbulent like this, when you're trying to fine-tune one of these little instruments just to keep your hand in a position to do it can be tough. All right, awesome. I got only two tree right in sight. And we'll be using Signature today. Which will be over on the east side of the field. TBM 851 Tango Bravo contact tower 1-1.2, good day. Go to tower, enjoy your day, one Tango Bravo. All right, so since we already have that dialed in, we just need to push one button. That's where it pays to stay ahead of the flight. Tower, good morning. We have our 851 Tango Bravo on the visual for 2 tree right. Our 851 Tango Bravo, Knox Tower, runway 2 tree right, wind 260 at 1 1, go 2 2, clear to land. Clear to land, 2 tree right, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, we are clear to land. We're still 10 miles out. We're still above our flap and gear speed. Having to hold that speed until a five mile final. Runway two three left, full length, clear for takeoff. Two zero zero and two three. I can't wait to slow it up because two Victor Julie kind of exposure. That'll make these bumps less violent. Nine Charlie Mike, riding at two five zero. Two five zero, nine Charlie Mike. You off the at Knoxville downtown off our right. Fortunately, I don't have a camera over there today. Here we go. We're lining up on two tree right. Traffic will be crossing downfield. Additionally, cautionary terms departing RJ. We'll line up and wait. I don't know, this kind of wind. Left I like the grease miles. landings, but you can't always have greasers, especially when you have winds like this. But we'll try our best. All right, right at 180 knots still. Seven mile final. Over to I'm going to keep the speed a little faster on this approach than normal, just for wind shear. If you get a negative wind shear loss, you wouldn't want to be going too slow. All right, here we're coming up on a five mile final. I'm going to pull the power back now, get under our flap and gear speed. Air speed's bleeding off. There we go. If you look out the wings, we're going first notch flaps, takeoff setting. And it is indicating. And four, five, alpha, flying, gear down, two, three, selected. Zero, runway two, three left, alpha, eight, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, two, three left. Four, five, alpha. My goodness. And gear is down and indicating. <laughs> that wind is throwing us all over the place. Are right, we going to disconnect the yaw damper? There 
go. Now I can get my feet on the rudder pedals. Four five alpha about aborting takeoff. I'm gonna be aborted takeoff. Four five alpha rudder. Say uh, reason for abort. Do you need any kind of assistance? Uh, negative. Four five alpha rudder uh, right turn at uh, Tango. That right turn at Tango. He aborted that takeoff. Four that guy. Alpha, maybe something right went wrong. He just Tango. didn't need assistance or anything. But back you back to the part again. Uh, I want to go to the. Uh, back to Four or five Alpha Roger, right turn at Tango. He's going back to the right ramp. Right turn at Bravo, and then I'll have more instructions there. Right turn at Tango, right turn Bravo. Maybe you saw how windy it was. It was like, heck with that. So you're just going to take your first right turn as long as you can until you're holding short of two, three left again. Okay. I'll All right, we're looking good. Short two, Speed's left. right about where I want it. I can bleed it back a little bit more, and we'll put the lights out there. You can see we're on the right on the proper glide path. Two red, two white. Five hundred. 500 feet to the ground. Getting a little bit more speed than I want, so I'm going to pull a little power back. November 4, 5, there we go, we're and, looking uh, good. What was it that you stopped your takeoff clearance? I uh, forgot something in the hangar. Oh, that guy got something in the hangar. It's either a good excuse or that's really what happened. <laughs> All right, looking good. Look, the UPS is here. Also, Cirrus Vision Center is here, too, down at the uh, far end of the field I saw when I was doing my flight planning. Cool to go check that out. All right, we're looking good. We're right on the speed. I'm going to pull the power back to flight idle. I'm going to kick the crab out with the rudder pedals. And that wind, we're floating together to the wind. There we go, not too bad. Go back into reverse. Yeah, the wind was really been gusting because we started to float once I went into the flare. Perfect. We'll get off left at their next intersection here. Tower yeah, 32 Heavy with you two from Milwaukee, R and Avro and two three right off from the river. So they do have an octave runway two three right wind two Bravo five. Bravo four is which we'll be five. exiting on. Runway two three right for the option, sorry, Jay. And Oxel Tower six, not an under six three with skis visual. Two, three, right, behind the tanker. One thing, Bravo, left turn on Bravo, right at Yankee, cross runway two, three, left, into the ramp. Bravo, Yankee, cross two, three, left, into the ramp, eight, five, one, ten, Bravo. Four, five, Alpha, cross runway two, three, left on Yankee. Okay, let's look real quick here. right here. All right, two, three, left, Yankee, uh, into six, Pearson. Take Bravo, change the plans. Join Yankee, hold short of runway two, three, left. Join Yankee, hold short of two, three, left, eight, five, one, ten, Bravo. All right, so we got left turn here on Bravo. Then we're going to do a right hand turn on Yankee. Hold short of two tree left. Welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee. Man, that was a turbulent flight. I'm not going to lie. I'm excited to be on the ground, be done for the day, go have some fun around Knoxville. Our next intersection here is going to be Yankee. We turn right there and hold short a two tree left. If you guys did like that video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. If you would like to see more videos like this, also be sure to go down to the description below, click on the Pilot Institute and uh, Pivot Cases, get some cool discounts and start your flight training. You can also bounce around the sky here with me someday in your own airplane. Also follow along on all the other social medias, Instagram. Number one Tango Bravo, cross runway two tree left on Yankee, into the ramp. We'll see you. Cross two tree left on Yankee, into signature. Enjoy your day, one Tango Bravo. You too. Hi, right, nice controller too. All right, even though we're cleared to cross, we'll still check. Sorry, two on the go. We got cleared right. to the right, clear to the left on two tree left. Every time they always clear you to cross the runway, I always double check because it's better be safe than sorry. And right up here in front of us is a signature. Okay, you have you got an departure? Sorry, you have a switch. Got some vision jets here. Yeah, I guess this is the, vi the Cirrus Vision Center. Oh, and I actually got a marshaller in sight. Looks like they're gonna park us over there by the King Air. Excited to be in Knoxville. Gotta watch out. They got some cones all out here. We don't want to wreck a nice bumpy flight hitting a, Tower, one of these cones. Is visual two, three, right. two, three, well, I hope everybody's doing good wherever you're watching from. It was a pleasure having you guys on board. And uh, we'll talk to you again someday soon. Take care, everybody.